Hello everyone, my name is Rain Palby with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're having a quick look at Sugarbyte's Drum Computer Plugin. We're going to do a little bit of a deep dive into some of the settings and how to use the plugin, um, and we're also showcasing a beat made entirely with Drum Computer. Uh, so just as we get into that, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and also turn on the notifications so you can know the second one of these deals goes live. Give you a second to do that. Okay, done? Sweet. Let's go. So, as I said, that beat was actually made entirely with drum computer, even the synths and bass parts. So there really is quite a lot of scope for sound design and creating unique and interesting sounds within this, um, and it's not just drums. But we will just look at the drum channel for the purposes of explaining the capabilities um, and the, some of the parameters within the plugin. So if you have a look here, this is our drum kit. There's eight different channels, which each have a sound assigned to them. And if we look at this kick here, we can see all the different things that go into making that kick sound the way it does. So primarily we have three oscillators, the resonator, one of either a wavetable or an analog sampler, uh, oscillator rather, and a resynth and a sampler. So the resonator by itself is just that beefy undertone um, and that needs to be kickstarted with an exciter. So you can either have an envelope, envelope plus noise, or getting the exciter signal from one of the other two oscillators. So I had it on the wavetable analog one. And then you can adjust the level so you can balance out between the oscillators, uh, which ones are louder. You have pitch and semitones with 24 and multiples of 12 being C. And then you have resonance uh, on this resonator. So they each have one big dial in the middle. And this resonance dial, it can really uh, change the scope of the sound. So that would be quite a short clicky sound. But if you really want to beef it up, you can make it sound almost like an 808. So I had it somewhere in that high mid region. And also all of the oscillators have decay and pitch modulation parameters. Um, and you also can fine tune the pitch with this little tuning knob here as well. If we then move on to the wavetable oscillator, uh, this is a wavetable synthesizer, uh, which can be complex and really offer a really um, rich possibilities in terms of creating new sounds. And so if we look here, we can adjust this wave parameter to set where in the waveform the wavetable starts. Or later. And you also have this frequency modulation parameter, which can sound pretty crazy. And again, pitch modulation and decay. And you also have the choice of an analog sampler, uh, oscillator, I keep calling them samplers, an analog oscillator. which also has this wave parameter. And maybe this is a good way to demonstrate. You can see how changing this parameter affects that waveform there. If we jump back to the wavetable, and then we bring in the recent. So this colors the body of the sound. Uh, and so the color parameter is like a filter, high or low pass. So for the kick, we'll just have this low pass filter here. 
recent. With it, we can make it more obvious. We can make it brighter if we want. Crank the level up. You can do pretty crazy things with the pitch modulation. So there's quite a lot of possibilities just within those oscillators. Um, and you also have the sampler. So you can replace the resynth oscillator with a sampler. And this allows you to bring in external samples and actually bring in any samples you want. So if you click on where it says Doom Kick is the name of the sample I have in there now. If you go load sample, you can pull out anything from your computer or hard drive. Uh, so you can put in your own recordings if you wanted to and see how that meshes with drum computers, built-in sounds and wavetables. Uh, and if it, we have it with the Doom Kick, that's the kind of sound we get. So quite clearly, there's a lot of possibilities for, you know, shaping the sound with these modulations and different um, customizable aspects of the oscillators. And you can do this for each and every part of your kit. And then, of course, you have a sequencer as well. Now, no drum machine would be complete without a sequencer. And so this allows you to put in where you want everything to hit within the loop. And what's really cool with the sequencer as well uh, is that it has the swing and humanize parameters. And these will allow you to get a bit of groove into the beat and not be as robotic if you want to have the notes land off grid. <laughs> Just loop it so you can hear. If I take down the human eyes, it's much more on grid and sounds more robotic. That can be really good a lot of the time in certain other music styles, but if you want, I can also really humanize it and you can see the notes shifting off the grid. So it shows you what it's doing. That's quite cool. So if you want to do this kind of loop based production, uh, then you can have that in there, but you can also turn off the sequencer and just put in MIDI programming like with any other instrument. Uh, and the other thing is, as well as having so much room for customization and building your own unique sounds, uh, there's just really great sounds straight out of the box as well. So I'll Pull up another instance of Drum Computer just to go through some presets and you can see the flexibility of it as well. Because obviously what we've been looking at so far is quite electronic, techno-y type music. But there's this preset I really like and there's so many as you can see from all these different libraries. But I really enjoy, for example, the soul preset. And the sequencer also allows you to have variations with this auto one, auto two, uh, where it will inject something at the end of maybe every second bar or something like that. So that's a really nice one. Uh, and there's there's a lot more and I think that one way that I could see myself using drum computer going forward is it can be a really good way to inspire the start of a track you can even go this kind of randomized kit and that can give you a fun starting point so let's see what that would be now and then you might hear something from that that will help you take it in a certain direction and then you have the ability to, of course, customize and adjust each area of the kit 
uh, to suit what you want to do with it. Uh, another preset I really like and that shows that it can be used in so many different genres away from what we've been looking at is the cinematic drums preset. <laughs> hear something quite epic being built over that perhaps with orchestra as a guitarist uh, I I could definitely hear how I could put some cool guitar riffs over that and actually this it just makes me want to pick up and play something so I might try something <laughs> like where that was going and I think you can really see the power that drum computer has for generating these great sounds straight out of the box just immediately and so whether that is something you're looking for to be able to really quickly put, put something together that just gets you going right away or whether you're wanting to be able to really customize and shape the sounds to be something that's unique and distinctly yours there's really something in here for both beginners and expert producers alike uh, definitely a really powerful, useful tool with the synthesis capabilities that are part of the plugin. And it's definitely something that I'm going to be using going forward to make some of my drum sounds. So definitely check out the deal on the Audio Plugin Deals website um, and get in there while it's still available. Um, this is genuinely a great plugin. So, um, I mean, that's all there is to say, really. Uh, that's all from me for now. See you next time.